Um, my family's had a long history with the Boys and Girls Clubs, and this club is named after my great uncle John. And my great uncle John uh, had a manufacturing plant over across town on Clinton Street, over near our other uh, club on Babcock Street. And he had a lot of people who worked in the clubs who, were, who worked in the plant there. And they made conveyor belts and who were uh, members of the Boys Club on, on, uh, on uh, Clinton Street, on Babcock Street. And a bunch of those guys way back, maybe over 50 years ago, came to my uncle and said, would you help us build a gymnasium uh, in our club over on Babcock Street? And he agreed to help them. A lot of them, like I said, were his employees at the time. So he helped them raise the money for that, and they named that the John Beecher Gymnasium, and that's still an still active place over at our main clubhouse and our offices over at Babcock Street. And then a few years later, in the early 70s, um, those same people plus the boys clubs at the time also came to him again and said, would you help us raise some money because we want to build a club on the lower west side in Buffalo, across town. And my Uncle John, my great Uncle John was a really generous guy and loved this community very much and he agreed to help them uh, raise some money and he did it with a lot of partners, a lot of foundations and a lot of support in the community just like we have here today to do this great renovation of this um, playground. So when they, when he helped them raise the money, they were nice. The Boys and Girls Club was nice enough to name this um, after him. So uh, as a member of that family, I'm, I'm always proud to carry on the name and the tradition of helping and supporting the Boys and Girls Clubs here. And I've served in the Board of Directors for well over 20 years. So we're super happy to be able to get this project done. Uh, you know, this was, for everybody who's never been here, boy, this was a really underutilized space prior to us getting this built. And it was really too bad because it's a really nice outdoor area and we were just fortunate enough to get some really great community support like we did all those years ago to build this club to get that community support again. And all for really the community and the neighborhood and all you guys here, these kids right here, this is what we're doing it for. Um, so we're just more than pleased and so happy that we were able to get this done and help build this really nice space for the community. Um, and I think the one person that we got to say thank you to um, that often gets overlooked is Miss Sherry. Miss Sherry was the one who put this all together. A lot of people will write a lot of checks to help us, but Sherry's the one who goes coordinates and picks those checks up. So that's how we pay for all these things. But I also wanted to thank Parkitects um, for their generosity in helping us get this project off because, as you know, the funds come in at different times and they come from a lot of different sources. So we really are thankful to you guys for being able to do that. Um, and we're really fortunate to have your support. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this club. I hope you guys have a great time this summer and the, the, the neighborhood gets to use it and you kids get to use it. So thank you so much again for, for all that you do and for supporting us in the clubs. Thanks everyone.